I'm Mike Mandel, Chief Economist at Business Week, and this week's video podcast is on deflation. Deflation, falling prices, is a scary word. In the past, deflation has been associated with some of the worst episodes in economic history, the Great Depression, Japan's lost decade of the 1990s. This week, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reported that consumer prices fell by 1.7% in November, following a 1% decline in October. Scary? A bit. But could also be good news. One of the characteristics of recent years has been that most Americans experienced falling real wages. That is, their wages went up slower than consumer prices, so that they had less buying power. That's a big reason why we ran into such problems. Americans borrowed because their real buying power was falling. This decline in prices that we're experiencing right now is reversing the process. It means that buying power of employed workers are rising. That could be good news if the unemployment rate doesn't rise too fast. That's where fiscal and monetary stimulus comes in. The Fed is pushing more and more money into the economy and it's expected right now that the Obama administration could have a $1 trillion stimulus package in 2009. The combination of falling prices and fiscal and monetary stimulus could be exactly what the economy needs to get going again. Lots of jobs, more buying power, and we could see finally the economy get off the ground. That at least would be the best case scenario. I'm Mike Mandela in New York.